All right, so let's go through how to white balance your shots or just the balancer shots in general. The idea here is to get a good white level. And typically, if you look in your parade, a good white level will be indicated by having your red, green, and blue channels to be um, sort of balanced. So if I was to take my offset wheel and go a little more in the reds, um, we would kind of be, I would say somewhere right in there would be an evil, even distribution. But as you can see, we have now lifted reds and that's seen by all of our shadows being a little more uh, red. What I could do is I could come in and shift and get my blue level up a little bit, but now we're gonna get in all over the place. So instead of doing that, well, another thing that I could do is I could pick this auto balance little picker here and I could pick a white spot. So like, let's say right here and now this is going to be white balance and we're gonna get an even signal. But what ends up happening is if you see in the shot, it just looks warmer. Um, that might be a thing that you want. If not, um, you could you know, add to that and go into your offset, come down here to tint, or excuse me, temperature, and you could push this a little cooler. Now we're kind of getting back in that same realm, but here is, uh, I would say, an okay for a early morning where you have that golden hour sunrise just about to come through but yet we still have a cooler looking shot so with everything off with that uh, adjustment on let's go over to another shot here now for this shot we have a very even signal between our red green and blue and if we look at the shot it looks like a sunset coming this way and then we have all the shadows which are a bit cooler uh, with the snow and all so overall, I think that that shot's pretty good. Um, if I was to use my auto white balance, I'd probably pick somewhere uh, like out in here. And that just warmed it up just a tad bit more. I don't know if I would do that, but you know, it is a option. Coming over to this shot, this shot looks pretty good. It's looking a little cooler. As you can see, the black top is a little on the blue side. Um, one thing that you could do is if you wanted to get make sure that this car was pure white we could grab a power window and drop that power window right on the hood so we our only selection is that power window we'll zoom in with our mouse a little scroll wheel and we'll get somewhere right on the hood there so we have just white and we'll click the uh, highlight button. So we just have that and we can only see that. Now our uh, scopes will only show me what's in here. So I can come into uh, a vector scope, which is showing the colors in a shot. And it's set up the same way as one of these wheels here. And we can see that this color is a little more on the blue and cyan. To see this a little better, you would just click right here when you're in vector scope, you'd click this little button here and I would turn on two times and boost this signal so that you can see it. And as you can see, it's um, a little on the blue. So if I wanted to have this uh, balance and have it white, white would be in the middle. So what I could do is I can come into my offset wheel and push the opposite way. So that signal gets pushed into the center point. So I would say something like that. And now if I come and I hit this um, little highlighter and then I click this button to disable the power window. Um, so that's with it, that's with it off. And then with it on, it's a little warmer, but the top here is, is pure white. I could pick a different, a different spot if I wanted to. The top might be affected by the, um, the blue sky. So I might have white up here, but now my shot's a little warmer. I would say that this actually looks better for the time of day, it be an early morning. All right, so let's go over to the next shot. Now this is a shot that actually needs some work. The other ones really didn't need that much work because they were pretty close when they were initially shot. White balance was really good. I would recommend getting a white balance card, which is just a great card. I'll pop it up here. Um, and what you can do is you can use that to white balance your camera. So then you always have a proper white balance and then you won't really have to do this much. All right, so now jumping over back to this shot, you can see that it's uh, a bit warmer. 
And if we were to use the, the different tools that we have here, so like let's first, let's save this, but let's first click our, um, our white balance and let's say this table was white, so we'll click on that. And now if we look at this shot, we sort of have a little bit of a white here. We have a white and I don't know, uh, but overall it's not very white. It still has that hint of yellow. So let's not do that. Let's reset that. And then if we come down to our temperature control, and we were to turn our temperature control, the maximum we can turn it is 4,000. Um, and that doesn't really look all that great. So if we just, you know, let's say we double it up again and we push it even further. Now we're kind of getting a little more on the white side, but here in our, I'm guessing this was white. We're kind of getting like a, a blue tint in the top of this, the highlight in this plastic. We're getting a really weird blue, but yet we're st we still have yellows and there's a little bit of blue here. So it's kind of, it's not really working. Um, let's, so let's go with some other things that we could do. We could uh, come into our curves and, you know, if, as we see here, we could um, boost up maybe our blue channel a bit, right? And then maybe knock down our red channel. And we're sort of getting there, but it's kind of having that same effect. And we could, you know, tinker in here a little bit. Maybe just pull a little bit of green out of here. So there we're sort of starting to get somewhere, but again, we're having this really weird uh, highlight here and weird highlights here. Starting to get like a, a good white balance throughout this shot. Um, so we're almost there, but that technique really isn't working. Beginners normally don't think about this one is switching your color space to YUV. The colors interact a little differently. And then what we can do is we can just pull these channels down. And as you can see, our blue is is boosting up quite a bit and we come into our blue channel now these are mapped differently so now if we let's say we have it uh, I would say somewhere in here and then have this like this we're kind of getting there and now if we boost up our saturation we're almost there I would say this is just about there Come back again. I would say that that is really close. Now after these nodes, we can then boost this signal up quite a bit. And now we're getting a bit of a better white balance and we could throw in a little color boost and a little saturation in here we have a hint of a uh, a yellow but i would say that that is probably the best that we're going to get out of here now remember where we started and where we're at there's a lot of um the and all the idea is is just to getting your red green and blue signals kind of even so where we started before all this, we had a really high red signal. And if we just used the, you know, the temperature and the tint, it really wasn't working out because we were kind of getting weird colors as well as using the uh, white balance tool that they have here. So we had to um, take the first note and go into YUV and remember how the YUV chart looks. And all you have to remember is instead of RGB, it's YUV. So as you move these, you're shifting where the colors are. So the idea here is we normally have um, RGB and instead we have YUV and our green channel is gonna be our U. So it's just gonna be moving along this. So as we shift here, we're just gonna be moving where uh, we're pushing colors. So we're gonna be pushing it into the blues and then our uh, B is gonna be V so we're just gonna be pulling it out of the reds and magentas and pulling it, shifting it down. So we're kind of just pulling it over into this space. So, and Y is just your luminance level. So if I was to come into the R, which would be our Y, this is just gonna be our, our luminance. So we don't really have to worry about that. Our main focus is just to get colors fixed from where they previously were. 
So I hope this kind of helps on how to color balance a shot. If you have any questions, just throw them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any suggestions on something I should do in the future, leave them also down in the comments. Again, my name's Jay Arn. Thanks for watching.